Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the buccal and the parotid region. Starting with the buccal, the superior border is the zygomatic and the infraorbital region, which I spoke about in my last video. The inferior border will be the mental region. For the content, you've got buccal adipose body or Bisha's fat pad, which extends into the temporal region. You've also got the buccal mucosa, which contains the parotid duct, also known as Stenson's duct. The muscles in this region include the buccinator muscle, the zygomatic muscles, minor and major, and the rosarius muscle. About the vessels, you've got the facial artery and vein, and you can see the buccal artery branches. You also have a buccopharyngeal fascia. Let's go through it once again. So you've got the buccinator muscle, the zygomatic and the rosarius. You've got the facial artery and vein, the buccal artery branches, and the buccopharyngeal fascia. You've got the Bichat's fat pad and Stenson's duct. Now we will move on to the parotid or parotidomastoteric region. So the superior, you'll have the zygomatic arch or the auriculars occipital and the zygomatic region and inferiorly you have the mandibular base or the mandibular angle. The important content in this region is the parotid gland. You have only one muscle and fascia in this region but you have multiple vessels. You have the masseter muscle and the parotideo masseteric fascia. Moving on to the vessels, you've got the superficial temporal artery and vein, the auricular temporal nerve, posterior auricular artery, the facial nerve, from the intraparotid plexus, you've got the retromandibular vein and one important thing is the carotid bifurcation in this region. Once again, you've got the masseter muscle, the parotidomasseteric fascia, you've got the facial artery and nerve, you've got the superficial temporal artery, the retromandibular vein, the bifurcation of the carotid artery, Okay guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.